and AJ from the Lumen Christi 7th grade discipleship class presenting with the Good, Good News to Go for the 6th Sunday of Easter, May 1st, 2016. Today's gospel comes from John chapter 8, verses 1 through 11. I think we should have a focus question before we read the gospel. Sure, but why? I heard somewhere that if you have a focus question before you read the gospel, you can understand more of what the gospel is trying to say. Sounds good, but what do you think it should be? I think the question should be this. What is Jesus trying to tell the disciples? The Gospel according to John. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and the Father will love him. And we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you love me, you will rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. I had a hard time understanding this gospel. What do you think it means? I think it means to believe in Jesus and trust in Jesus because he had a plan for all of us to be great and go to heaven. I have a question too. I can answer it. What is it? What do you think this message is? I think it is to not worry so much because you are in God's hands. What do you think Jesus means by you would rejoice that I am going to the Father for the Father is greater than I? It means that when he went to heaven, he saved us from our sins. How do you think I can use this gospel in my life? I think you can trust more in Jesus and be ready for when Jesus comes again by being nice to others, going to church weekly, giving to the poor and sick, and believing in God. This is my final question. Go ahead. Why did Jesus mention the Holy Spirit? Jesus was saying that he will be in heaven. He will send the Holy Spirit down to protect us and guide us to God and heaven. And this is the... Good news to go, according to John.